Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video and today we're going to be taking a look at the long-awaited first teaser trailer for The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power from Amazon. I'll be honest, 100% straight out of the gate, I am very unsure of what we've seen and heard from this show, mostly because I don't fully trust anyone else to be tackling this sort of property unless it was New Line, Weta and Peter Jackson. I think they know and understand Tolkien, Middle-earth and all that realm very well. Yes, the Hobbits were a bit wonky. I went back over Christmas, watched all the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit and I enjoyed the Hobbit. I had fun. Yes, it doesn't hold up as much as Lord of the Rings, but I still enjoyed it. With this Amazon show, because it's going to be a new set of people, new set of cast, new set of producers, visual people, I'm just not sure. So let's take a look see what we get and uh, see if it changes his minds. So it's only a minute long. I was hoping we'd get more but it's a teaser so maybe we'll get more at some point soon. I think it's out in September so we should be getting more. So let's go. Haven't you ever wondered what else is out there? That child talking. There's wonders in this world beyond our wandering. Or is it you talking? The thought of the king. That like visuals. Looks. Well. It looked alright. Strong woman. For the fellowship. We got an elf. Before the ring. Joan of Arc. Goblins. Okay. Hmm. September first. You know what? You could you could have put the title Narnia on there and I've been like, yeah that looks like Narnia. Like it just looks like fantasy. It doesn't feel Lord of the Ringsy. Other than like some of the like some of this stuff, but then again, this could be like. I don't like that voiceover. Haven't you ever wondered? Just little, like little toys here, but like this, this could easily be like King's Landing or something like that on a really nice sunny day. We never really got to see it. it always looked doomy and gloomy. So this, you know, at, at this stage with fantasy stuff, it's like this could be anywhere in any fantasy. Well, this feels feels it, you know, New Zealandy. I can't remember what this race is called. Is she supposed to be a hobbit, something like that, or a? I can't remember what the early versions of hobbits are called. Is she supposed to be one of them? Big rosy cheeks, looks quite childlike, or is she something else? I don't know. But I think she's the one with that. The, they're doing the annoying. Sort of excitable child voiceover. Actually, with the way she's looking up at someone, that feels like it's this. This thing's next. Small hands into like maybe some. I don't know. I don't know what the actual story plot is. This teaser's not told me much. It's just shown me like lots of places, lots of people. We're getting Galadriel, I presume, on one of her ad adventures doing whatever she likes and being able to scale a mountain with a tiny knife. Let's be honest. There's no pickaxe. There's no safety rope. She's just jumping from ledge to ledge and stabbing a knife in as she goes. Oh, she's got other people with her. She's leading the pack. She's leading the pack. You will know she is leading the pack. I feel like I've seen a similar scene with Legolas catching an arrow, doing something in one of the in one of his appearances. Oh no, we've got an elf. So there is some sort of war and conflict going on, even before the rings of power have been established. It seems. There she is. Out in front, Joan of Arc. I thought that was her as well. 
or it's not. This might be someone else. Unless that is her. From the armor. No. I imagine a generic warrior. But that looks cool, like, visually. Looks well rendered. Looks nice. Yeah, that's definitely Elf. Don't know if he's Rivendell or somewhere else, but he's got that Elf, Elf, Elf land feel. Just very, always kind of autumnal, warm colours, nice bits of water. He seems to be having some sort of meeting. Don't know what's going on around here. So we've got some dwarfs. Uh, I can't remember who that's supposed to be. Oh, I saw it in an article over there. Uh, we've got another dwarf woman. Is that dude naked? No, firewall. Don't know what's going on here. But it seems it looks like they're in sort of maybe a volcano or maybe something's burning down. Well, some. Uh, uh, some is burning down, but like, what? Are we inside? This feels like we're inside of a volcano. Or maybe a forest on fire. There, that's definitely some formation of a ring or something, isn't it? We've got lots of people waiting around anxiously. Something happens, maybe it's been forged in the middle, it's been cooling inside this rock. But yeah, you could have put Narnia here and I'd. Other than the lack of talking animals, I'd be like, yeah, that it feels, it feels like Narnia. Like, other than like the elf world, the elf place feeling, that's where the elvens live, and the dwarfs looking like Lord of the Ring dwarfs. The rest of it could be from any other mystical fantasy show. It could have even been some made-up property based on like King Arthur or something like that. There's only like tiny elements that remind me and make me think it's Lord of the Rings. Maybe in the next trailer, when there's maybe some story-based things, other than just sort of a little whimsical like, ooh, this is going to be amazing from some child-like thing. Um, I'd need to know more. I need to know who's in charge, who's, who's sort of the bad guy, what people's motivations, things like that. Like, I want to be invested in another way other than the Lord of the Rings. Like, what's going to bring me into this world? Like, that title alone, that's enough to make me glance. I need something to make, to draw me in. That didn't sell too well. It was just a lot of visual effects and the odd shot of characters, but it didn't tell me what was going to happen. Just like before the king, before the this, before the that. It's like, well, what? We got the Rings of Power, the forging? Like, I need to know more. And for a teaser trailer, for something that's been in the works for so long. It's not sold me too much. Like I said, visually, other than like two or three little elements that look like Lord of the Rings, it could be any fantasy. Any fantasy at all. Narnia, something made up, anything at all. So, as a teaser, three out of ten. <laughs> but, yeah, it, I'd, I'd feel more invested if Weta and... New Line and Peter Jackson were involved, even if he was just a producer or someone that was, you know, tangically linked to it, I'd feel more invested because I'd be like, okay, it feels like it's coming from a good place. And so far, I'm very, very unsure. We'll just say that. So, as always, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts below, what you think of this. Are you excited in any way? What I do know is, it's based on 24 pages of Tolkien text and they're going to try to stretch it over five seasons. That's a lot of stuff for someone to make up who might not know very much about all of this stuff. So we'll see. Let me know your thoughts below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, do all that stuff for the algorithms and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.